raise about 15 turkeys for meat. We butcher them ourselves and have learned that plucking the feathers is a real nightmare. We do not have a plucking machine, so it is all done by hand. We do usually do two whole birds plucked so that we can have the big traditional turkey dinner on Christmas and whatever other special holiday we want it for. But the remainder of the birds we raise, we skin and break down. This process is much faster and I have learned that when seasoned properly, no one misses the skin at all. So here is our process for breaking down and packaging the turkey that we raise. All set up for butcher day. Got the counter all sterilized, my meat grinder, bowls, scale, knives, cutting board, and some pre-labeled bags ready to go for packaging and freezing. Okay, so now that the meat is all washed, the next um, step is to package and process. So um, I want to start off by showing you this here is um, two turkeys worth of meat I'm working through right now. One was a tom and one was a hen. Look at the difference in size between those two breasts. That's a tom and that's a hen, obviously. <laughs> Huge. Here, have a look at the legs too. Leg from a hen, leg from a tom. So that's pretty awesome. Um, okay, so into my bags here to start with, I've got all the wings. I don't like the wings, so they all go to the dogs. Um, I've got eight dogs that I'm feeding right now, so I generally package my dog meat into packs of eight. So they're gonna get eight wings in here, three, which including the drumstick and the um, other piece, drumette. That's just two birds worth there. There we go, turkey wings to the dogs and that's labeled to go into their space. Um, now the next thing I'm gonna do, I've got two bags done up here. Um, I've labeled them 2023 turkey dinner, one leg, one thigh and two breasts. So this is for when I don't want to um, cook a full turkey. I can pull out one of these bags. They are skinned, but seasoned properly, it doesn't matter. So there's one leg. Uh, actually, I think I'll do a hen thigh because they're big enough. That's plenty big enough. And that goes in just like that. I do one leg, one thigh, and I do two nice pieces of breast. This is a nice one. Um, so start by taking this little fillet off. This is kind of perfect, just like this. I'll go one nice big chunk there. And I'm just gonna make this one a little thinner so that they cook evenly. And there we go. There's a nice turkey dinner, ready to go. These pieces, these will end up getting ground. I like having a lot of ground turkey meat. Um, so I just slice these up into little chunks that will fit into my grinder later on. There's my grinding bowl off to the side. I decided I'm gonna make some turkey breakfast sausage, so I'm excited about that. This will probably go into that little chunk of fat. Yum. Um, okay, let's make up another dinner bag. go through these thighs. Now, I don't really have a lot of use for a thigh this size. I am just gonna grind all of this because I like my ground meat to be super high quality ground. So I'm just gonna really quickly debone what I can off of here. I'm not overly picky though, because what ends up happening with the leftovers on this thigh bone is this just goes straight to my dogs who love it. So I'll get my turkey thigh bones for the dogs. Someone's gonna get a pretty tasty dinner from that. And then the rest of this just goes into my ground. So 
one of the beautiful things about butchering your own meat is that you can process it exactly how you want. There's no complaining about your packages, it is exactly what you want. So for me, I like mostly ground meat because I like making things like burgers, sausages, shepherd's pie, spaghetti sauce, meatballs, all of those things. That's what we eat the most often. And the turkey meat is a beautiful healthy substitute for red meat, which we don't have as often. Um, so all of this lovely thigh meat just goes right in there, makes the ground like just beyond delicious. Way better than anything you could ever even hope to find in a store. I mean, look at the size of this breast. This is a breast from one Tom turkey. It's gonna be enough for a huge amount. I should have weighed this breast before I started slicing onto it. I wonder if I can weigh it on my scale. Well, I'll wait later. is um, the start on my ground. I'll probably get going on this. Let's see what this weighs. Including the bowl, so not completely accurate, I suppose. Oh, too heavy for my scale, and my scale goes to 10 pounds, so it's a big bowl. There's that off to the side. Um, and then the last thing that I have here is I've got this bag lab labeled 2023 Turkey Legs to Cure. So that's what I've started doing with my legs. These are impossible to debone. Um, I end up spending so much time struggling with these to get them into the ground. So what we have discovered is very delicious is we cure these exactly like we would hams in a brine for 24 hours and then onto the smoker. So I'm gonna show you that in a separate video. There's that and I'm really excited about that meal. So I have my great big beautiful bowl, grinder goes on, this is the breast and thigh meat from three turkeys. Now I want to make breakfast sausage with this. And in my head, I kind of thought I'm gonna do 20 pounds of turkey sausage, turkey breakfast sausage, but we'll just see how it goes here. I don't know, I started to grind this and it's not grinding right. It was like just smushing it through in the very first. Put the blade around and... Well, that's what I'm wondering. Okay, take three. It's in the freezer for about an hour. Seems good. I'm already packing it in there, so. We ended up getting 32 pounds of ground turkey, eight huge legs to cure, two beautiful turkey dinner portions, and eight bags of bones for the dogs from just five turkeys that we butchered today. The next time Kyle comes home, we'll be making the turkey breakfast sausage, and we'll be curing and smoking the turkey legs. So, if you enjoyed our video, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss the next one.